So we're talking about the talkback system in the studio. Um, this is the microphone that you'll utilize. On the Q system here on the central station, you're going to want to select it, uh, select an input there that's not your console input that way. So not it TRS-1. Right, not TRS-1. So it doesn't send your program material, suck one of your master bus, mm -hmm. to the monitors out there. You just want to be able to talk to musicians, get their attention when their headphones are off. So you'll notice if I hold the talk back button on there or I use this controller, check, 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 you can hear me outside in the room. As I talk, you'll also see on channel 24, check, 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 you see my voice go up. That's because it's splitting the signal. Half of it's going out into the wearing studio live on speakers. The other half of it's going to channel 24 so that you can send your talk back to all the headphones. So you only have to hit one button, the talk back button, to, for it to go to both locations. Sure. Um, and that's obviously being sent out over the aux sends uh, to the three sets of headphones left and right, aux one and two being left and right for headphone one. Okay. Um, but if you have a mix down session where they want to use all 24 channels on the console, to receive signal from Pro Tools, do a mix. Mm -hmm. You obviously don't want channel 24 to be tied up of course. with the talkback talk send. So at the top of the channel, there's a bunch of um, buttons in the input section, and one of them is input reverse. Mm -hmm. And all you have to do to remove the dedicated talkback function is to hit that input reverse or deselect the input reverse um, option. Okay. And now it's going to receive input from either the line input or the mic input. Okay. Like you'd want if you were sure. doing the mix down. Okay. So then you can go back to a live session later. Your student comes, leaves, another one comes in. They want to do an overdub session or a live tracking session. Then you just have to hit the input. Boy, reverse. that's super flexible. That's a great <coughs> way to do it. Yeah. That's cool.